I just came across the most systematic way to improve your lead coding skills and it came from a subscriber in one of my live streams and shout out to Farzan because he's the same Berkeley student that I jumped on the chat with here but he pretty much said in my live stream there's a pretty systematic way to get better at lead code and no one really seems to talk about and he's right when he talked when he mentioned it I've never heard this in my life so what he said is you have to do lead code contests and then use zero track to practice problems rated 100 to 200 points higher than your rating the issue is there's too much variance in lead code difficulty in medium and hard so basically what he's proposing is this thing called zero track which it, which essentially assigns you an elo score so if you're not familiar with the elo rating skills it's how people get really good at chess they're pretty much assigned an elo score I, I forget what the elo scores are but pretend you have an elo of like 2000 to get better at chess pretty much you'll you'll just play people with an elo score slightly higher than you maybe people with 2100 2000 50 so they're not too hard so that it's too challenging and you'd never learn anything but they're just hard enough to challenge you and and help you get better and help you increase your elo score so if you go on lead code there's pretty much only three versions of questions easy medium and hard sometimes hard questions are so there's some hard questions that are easy hard questions that are almost like mediums and there's some medium questions that are so hard that it's almost like a hard but there's there's some easy or medium questions that are almost like an easy so a lot of times when you're doing lead code questions you'll see oh this should be a medium this should be um this medium should have been hard oh this hard is too easy it's because when you only have three levels of problems there's so there's so much variance in between each level and there's also some overlap so this zero track thing that, that he showed basically it shows it gives a more granular difficulty for each question so it starts with questions i think the ratings go from zero to 3700 so the ratings on a number like the ratings here and i have to keep i have to stop saying like as much and i'm trying to improve that because somebody said that they wouldn't hire me because I say like too much. And comment down below how much times I say that word here. I, I think I only said it three times. But they they said that they wouldn't hire me for that. And I agree. I need to work on my I need to work on my talking skills. But let's get back into this. So essentially what they mentioned what Farzan mentioned is do lead code contests so you are given an ELO score. So when you're given an ELO score, the ELO score is between 0 and 3700. And also what you can do is just find questions. You can figure out your own ELO yourself by trying out different different questions. So pretend I if I think I can do rated questions from 1000 to 1050 I can put the rating interval here and it'll give me all of the questions Let me put 1200 Sorry 1000 or 1200 So it's gonna give me all of the questions here that are between 1000 and 1200 rating So I can I can try all those different questions You can see that they're still easy questions and if I can do a lot of them I know my ELO score is probably like 1200 so let me try something else now that i'm at 1200 let me try questions who, that are in the range of 1200 and 1400 now essentially i'll do questions that are in that range so now i'm getting questions that are slightly harder than what i'm used to you can see some of them are mediums now See, some of them are mediums. So now you're getting problems that are slightly harder than what you're used to. And you can see some of the questions that are in the 1200 to 1400 are medium and some are easy. So these are easy ones that are 
that are harder easy ones so yeah that's just like a really interesting and systematic way i think figure out your elo by doing questions you can do all the lead code contests and it will literally assign you an elo and then look for figure out like type in your rating here and try to look for questions that are a little bit higher than your rating pretend i did lead code pretend i did lead code um i did the lead code contest and i was i only had a rating of 1000 then i'll focus on questions that are between 1100 and 1200 something like that these are ones that are slightly harder than what i could achieve and but not so challenging that it discourages me so i think this is a really interesting way a really systematic approach i've introduced i've talked to some other friends who work at at fan companies and they're pretty much telling me that they've never seen this before too and that they're gonna try it out as well so i pretty much started this new series called lead code mastery or road to algorithms mastery when i'm going to be trying to improve my elo score i think the highest rating here is let's say 2000 or Ten thousand. So the highest ELO score is thirty seven hundred, but it drops to thirty one hundred. I I feel I feel like I'm only at like fourteen hundred to sixteen hundred. So there's still a lot of improvements. Actually, I might not even be there because those start to get to hard questions. Let's see longest. Actually, those are these are still medium questions. So I think I'm gonna try to figure out my ELO. And I'm going to systematically try to improve my ELO. And hopefully by the end of the year, my ELOs, I could do questions rated between 2000 and 2200. And then slowly get better. Because, yeah, that, that that's essentially what I'm thinking with this Algorithms Mastery series. Let me know your thoughts on this ELO. And, yeah, the website that that he mentioned is called Zero Track. So the mention, it's called zero track, and this is this is it right here. There's also there's a website that kind of explains how it all works. So this is the GitHub repo. So the cor corresponding backend calculates the rating of the problems in lead code in lead code weekly and biweekly contests based on the ELO rating system, as well as the maximum likelihood system. It is not 100% accurate, but sufficient for evaluating the relative difficulty of a problem and confirming. I conf I did some spot testing with some people, and others also think this this is good. Other people on my stream as well. So, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. There's there's a lead code plugin. The Chrome. Let's play the then there's a Chrome extension. There's several things. But essentially, to summarize, this is pretty much the most systematic way that I saw that you can get good at lead code. Instead of just going on your problems here and figuring out what problems to do and just doing random questions to get better, this one helps you figure out problems that are just a bit harder than what you know. So you, could, so you can work at solving those problems and then slowly increase your ELO. It's similar to games when you're just matched against people who are around your level or slightly better than you. And then as you get better, you face harder and harder people. So you're not bored of lead coding. And also you're challenged and, and also you're not challenged way too hard so that you can't even solve the problem. Let me know what your thoughts are on this system. I think it's a very interesting system. Shout out to Farzan who showed this. Farzan is did about like 700 lead code questions. He's really good. And he was following the strategy to get as good as he is. Maybe he's just also really smart. But I think I would I would want to see others try this approach. It's not really talked about on the internet, so I have to give all the shout out to Farzan. I'll be trying out this approach probably for the whole year. I'll let everyone know what my ELO score is right now. And then I'll let people know what my ELO score is at the end of the year. But anyways, 
Thanks for joining the video and hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye.